You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with. Hey guys, welcome back. And so we are going to do this is actually a part two of my Lux um, try on series. <laughs> And so we're going to be trying on lipsticks from different um, Lux brands today. I just did a look with my Epic Fail NARS. So if you would like to see that, I will link it up above. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Super Glam fam. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit like, make sure you subscribe so that you can watch um, the other videos that I have and I try to post as often as possible. If you ring that notification bell, every time I post, you will get notified. And if you're not new, if you're one of the Super Glam fam, thank you for coming back. Thank you for hanging with your girl, trying out different things with your girl. I appreciate you so much. And I look forward to chatting it up with you in the comments and on my social media. I want to invite you all to my Instagram and my Twitter, which I'm working on trying to get better at now. Um, and Facebook. I'm at Super Glam Beauty and that's Super Glam Beauty for all of my social media. Um, no, Twitter, I'm Beauty Super Glam. Let's try that again. Instagram, Facebook, Super Glam Beauty. Twitter, Beauty Super Glam. All right. So I look forward to you um, messaging me and uh, chatting it up with me in those uh, on those different social media platforms. All right. So let's get started. So what do I have for you today? So I have a gift set from um, Dior called Dior Rouge. Okay, got this for Christmas. And it has um, it has four different lipsticks in it. Then I have a little lip gift set from Givenchy. Okay. And so we will be digging into that. And then I have some goodies from YSL. All right. I have a nice little lip set there. And I have some extra goodies from YSL. Okay. So these are all minis. And so they're all reds. So this is going to be very interesting here. <laughs> so let's get us a good pencil. We're going to go with our good faithful here. Our appeal that's barely hanging on. And give us a nice brown line here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop and then I'm going to start so we can speed through it. All right.
how I put it back on my glasses, too. I'm about to tell you what I did so, and how I felt about them. And so we'll start off with the Givenchy um, colors. And so I lined it up the way I did it. So the first one I tried on was 306, which was the Carmen es Escarpin. Escarpin. Okay, and that was that one. That was the first one. And then the second one I put on was the Mandarin. Mandarin. Sorry for the glare of my glasses. Okay. At least this is I hope I hope I tried to keep it in the order I tried it on. And then the third one I tried on was Granat, Granat, okay, and then the fourth one I tried on, or the last one I tried on was Le Interdit, Le Interdit, I can't speak it, okay, or it might have been the reverse order. You might have to look and see. But that's what I did. I might have reversed it. So the Givenchy, I wasn't that impressed by it. They didn't have a smell. They were a little tugging. Um, I wasn't that impressed. It didn't seem any different than any other lipstick. So I don't know. I don't think the hype is, is worth all the hype. Okay. If there's any hype around a Dior lipstick, I mean Givenchy lipstick, I don't, I don't see what the hype is about. Okay, so that was Givenchy. Now let's do Dior. I tried to keep this in order too. So the first one I tried on for Dior was Matte. Okay. The second one I tried on for Dior was Dolce Vita. And if I'm looking at the wrong side, I'm sorry. I had my camera this way for so long, and now it's over here, and I keep forgetting. 772 Classic Matte. Okay. Then 432 Promenade. No smell, not really, like a light fragrance to it. Um, again, I wasn't really that impressed. They weren't different than any other lipstick to me. The pigment wasn't popping. Like, I wasn't impressed. So, don't pay all that money for a Dior lipstick. I mean, even the packaging is cute, but yeah, I wasn't impressed. All right, maybe I'm not bougie enough for this. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> All right, let's go to the Yves Saint Laurent. Now, this may be a little bit harder for me to see. The colors. But I can tell you the number. So, the first one was 01. That I tried on. No smell. The second one was... Oh, I had two of ones. The second one was. I'm thinking this is 09. Okay. The third one was. Let me see what number it is first. 13. The fourth one is seventy. Now, these definitely different, smoother, felt good with the pigment was better. 
I really was impressed with the Dior, um, I mean the YSL. I was impressed with those. Would I pay extra money just to have it? Um, no, not really. Um, I really like this lip, um, paint. This one right here, this one is in, oh goodness, Tuage Couture Tatouage Couture Matte Stain. This right here, this is the experience. Okay, this I may pay for. I like the tip. I love the fake. Oh, feels good. Smells good. This seems like a bomb. Doesn't really have a, nothing on it, but this seemed like a bomb. And this was cute. That was a cute thing. It felt good. Okay. So, and then I just had an extra O1. So, yeah. I mean, I was impressed with this. This left me impressed. And, you know, I've been trying different lip um, sticks and things like that. I've been testing it, for, you know, trying to find, like, that one that was go that's going to be like, oh, my goodness, I need that. I need this in my life. And I have not really found that one yet so still on the hunt i don't know if i'm gonna buy any more lipsticks i got tons of lipsticks now but if a lipstick comes you know i'll try it out <laughs> if y'all have any uh suggestions leave them down below again thank you for spending this time with me trying on lipsticks let me know if you have any of these if you have a different opinion about how they feel and what they you know what they're like please leave it down below um oh this lip balm right here this one uh why i feel lip balm it smells a little bit like cherry. It has like a little cherry fragrance to it. So just to give you that much. But a lot of, none of them had like overbearing fragrances. All of them needed lip liner to me. Um, if it seemed a little messy when I put it on because I can't really see that well and I needed lip liner. So just give me grace for that. <laughs> but know that I'm thinking about you all. Anyone who is watching, know that I'm praying for you. Know that I desire for you to be blessed and be at peace. And I look forward to hanging with you in the next video. Not shooting anymore today, but in the next video. <laughs> All right. You guys have a great day or night, depending on when you're watching. Bye. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound.